So last week I went down to lower Georgia, southern Georgia, and uh, I did some alligator snapping turtle trapping with Dirk Stevenson. Uh, this is part of a range-wide survey of the distribution of the Sewanee alligator snapping turtle, uh, a, a species that's been uh, petitioned for federal listing. Reunited at last. All right, so right here I have a uh, sub-adult or small adult male, Florida cooter. But what's unique about this guy is he has managed to survive a pretty traumatic attack right there. Now, whether that's from an alligator snapping turtle or an actual American alligator, hard to say. Uh, he did lose a rear foot, but the shell has healed fine and looks like this guy's actually doing pretty well and making a decent little living for himself over here, kind of in this kind of little water runoff area. So I'm gonna let this guy go, but really cool to see this. Um, I always love getting to see turtles that have survived traumatic injuries. It just shows how, uh, you know, that turtles are really, really um, hard-headed about dying and, and they can actually survive some pretty traumatic injuries as long as they have the right environment and the right available nutrients to kind of get them through it. So uh, just going to let this guy go right here. Ready? Whee! Back into his little area. All right, got a good sized snapping turtle right here. Looks like a common snapper. I'm gonna jump in and grab it and we'll get a good look at it. Put my phone here, try and capture the action. Live action, I think. Ugh. There we go. So I'm going to let this uh, good sized common snapping turtle make its way back to the water. I'm not looking for common snapping turtles right now, but this is a good sized female. I would say she's probably a good 13, 14 inches. And she's just going to casually make her way back down to the water. And there she goes, back into her murky home. All right, got a pretty little eastern box turtle. This female is just kind of hiking around walking through these uh, palmettos, same as us, but always cool to see these guys. I'm gonna leave her alone. Maybe she'll go deposit some eggs somewhere. That is a pretty turtle. All right, today here I am in South Georgia. I'm helping Dirk Stevenson out with some alligator snapping turtle trapping. Uh, doing a survey on Sewanee alligator snapping turtles. Uh, really excited to do this. I don't really know how to set traps, so it's fun watching, you know, Dirk kind of show me how it's done and, and help out and see. In case you've watched my videos, then you know that normally I find him just kind of hunting around with a flashlight. Uh, but kind of the standard way of finding these guys, pretty much done standard across the board, is to use these hoop nets. And so what we've done is put this hoop net here um, in a way that the bait is going to catch the flow of this river as it comes through this bend. It's going to come pick up the scent of the bait that we've put in this trap, and it'll spread the scent downstream where there's several log jams, undercut banks, um, deep pools, all the stuff that you know alligator snapping turtles like to hide in. Little stink pot to start the night. <laughs> I'm so angry. He's so angry. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, one of the things I like to see when I come here is these guys. These are sirens. These are big aquatic amphibians. These guys are just kind of out here exploring between these rocks. Really cool to see these guys. And they actually can get some pretty decent size on them. This one's about two feet. That one's probably about two feet, but I've seen them all the way up to about three feet long. So uh, it's really neat. You got to look between these rocks to see them. There's one right over there. Really cool to see these guys, really abundant. All right, so there's a siren here. There's a siren there. There's a siren there. There's one over there. 
and then there's one right here. This is probably the most sirens I've seen in one area at this place pretty much ever. Um, let's see. Oh, there goes a little musk turtle underneath that one. Let's see if I can catch that guy. Oh. Yep, another little stink pot. Happy little stink pot. <laughs> let's let this guy go. See you later, bud. My glasses are all wet. All right, attractive young male cooter. This guy was kind of uh, chilling out on the bottom. Scooped him up, we're gonna let him go. See you later, buddy. Cooter City. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> there are some more over here. Sorry, guys. Uh, the traps that were set the first night, uh, we weren't really even sure uh, if we were gonna get anything. We knew it was a good spot. And when we checked the first trap, there was like a couple sliders in there and then checked the second trap. And sure enough, there was a beautiful, about 10 inch juvenile in there. All right, so check the trap. This guy was in there. Juvenile, about 10, 11 inches. A young turtle, probably about nine or 10 years old, but overall looking pretty good. The other trap had a bunch of yellow-bellied sliders in it, but I'm really stoked we were able to get this guy. We're gonna do some, work him up with some biometrics, measure, weigh him, pit tag it, and uh, go from there. But so far, first turtle of the trip. Good looking sub adult, juvenile, whatever you want to call it. But good looking Swanee alligator snapping turtle, so really stoked. Three years ago, almost to the day. Okay. So this turtle has grown. We're going to find out how much he or she has grown in the interim. It's pretty exciting to get a recapture of a smaller turtle like this. So wonderful. We're excited. So how we know uh, is we, we could tag these turtles when we capture them in the base of the tail. And so let's take this reader. And there we go. And that is that turtle's ID. And then we also have uh, a mark on this marginal yeah. scoot here. We had drilled a hole in that scoot and that is what partially healed, hasn't it been? Yeah, it hasn't looks like it's partially in? We really can't sex this turtle definitively at this size. It's all strapped up and ready to be shot into space. It's a good looking turtle. And it's funny because it takes them a while just to get, and it takes about 10 years to get to that size. So. All right, we're gonna let this turtle go. years ago and we really kind of got um, some money thrown towards us to examine the distribution of Sewanee alligator snappers in Georgia because prior to that there had only been like 20 records in the state um, so we really didn't know much about them so since then we've just been uh, trying to map out their distribution and understand their status so since then I think we've got 10 or 11 county records and we're up over 120 records now for the state, so a lot of good information. The next day we went out and in the rain set six traps. That's always exciting when a bait bottle <laughs> won't fit through the... Alright, checking this trap. Set last night. And I don't see it moving.
All right, so checking one of the traps, actually a trap that an, a, an adult large turtle should have been in, in one of the huge traps. These guys were just hanging on to the netting um, and I was able to kind of reach through and pull them out through the netting. So these are um, about a year old and about a two or three year old loggerhead musk turtle. And uh, always fun to find these guys. We had a bunch of students with us, uh, some students from Valdosta State University and the goal was to kind of share the turtles with them and teach them a little bit about turtles. I wasn't able to get that moment when we pulled the trap out that had three adult alligator snapping turtles in there, but I can tell you right now that was, there's no feeling like it. When you pull it out, not knowing if there's even anything in there at all, it was incredible. Um, so we were able to weigh those turtles, measure them, pit tag them, and then we released them, and it was an incredible experience. I can't wait to hopefully do it again someday. Thank you so much to Dirk. Thank you to Ben Staganga. Thank you to Valdosta State University and all the amazing students that came out. Uh, it was a fantastic experience, and I'd be glad to do it again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Take care. Peace.